Good day, everybody. I'm forecaster Mark Spencer from NeoWeather.com with your forecast for Saturday, March 23rd, 2013. We'll have sun and clouds today, but we'll still be well below average with our temperatures. And do we have a snowstorm coming soon? Find out starting right now. A decent bit of sunshine out there this morning, although we do have a few clouds moving across the region. I do have the uh, Neo Weather 3D Max Doppler radar looping this morning to show that cloud cover kind of moving across parts of the region. Also along the lake shore as well, some lake enhanced cloud cover there with still a uh, light northwest flow across the lake, just enough to spark some cloud cover. Uh, otherwise, you're looking at mainly mid-level clouds moving across parts of the state this morning and in northeastern Ohio as well. Uh, really not much of any consequence. We will see sun today, so uh, I think we'll see a decent bit of sunshine. Some of this cloud cover may break up as we move into the uh, morning hours. No uh, snow to speak of this morning, which is good as well. I'm sure many people out there have pretty much had enough with the snow. We'll be talking more snow in a seven-day forecast here in a couple minutes. I'm going to stop this now. We're take a look at current temperatures here this morning. Uh, you're at 26 at uh, Cleveland Hopkins, 28 downtown Cleveland, 29 Lorraine and Elyria, 24 in Ashtabula, our cool spot Youngstown at 21, 26 in Ravenna, 29 Akron, Canton, and Mansfield, 28 in Worcester, and 26 in Dover, New Philadelphia. And that's pretty much the uh, case across the state, upper 20s to low 30s, except as you get down towards Cincinnati, they're uh, flirting with the middle 30s down there. Well, they'll probably hit 40 again today. As we take a look across the rest of the country here this morning, uh, pretty quiet up in the northeast, some snow showers in the mountains, but for the most part, the... Uh, Lake effect snow in New York that we saw yesterday has died down. We have showers across uh, parts of the southeastern United States here. We saw these yesterday in the Dixie States. Now it's moving offshore. Uh, you're warm down in Florida, of course. That's pretty much the warmest spot there. We're dealing with a little bit of severe weather, though, in the panhandle this morning. As you work on over towards Texas, warm in the southern portion of Texas, a little bit cooler up towards Dallas, Fort Worth, and into that area, although you are actually dealing with a few uh, uh, rounds of thunderstorms, one severe with temperatures in the upper 40s. Uh, just goes to show that it does not have to be hot for severe weather to occur. You're in the 30s in the central plains up into the teens in the northern plains. And basically right here, this is our next system that we're seeing between uh, Nebraska and Texas. This is going to come together here in about the next 24 hours. And it's going to move our way. We're going to see a low pressure system that's going to track across uh, more or less the um, middle Mississippi Valley into the Ohio and Tennessee Valley. And then come up here into Ohio. After that... We're going to see a low develop off the coast, and now it's going to take the energy from this low here and transfer it to the coast. We'll take a look at this in just a moment, and uh, we'll talk about some timing issues and a couple other things here. But this is our next system right here that's going to come and affect us uh, Sunday night into Monday. You may already want to start planning right now for an early commute Monday morning. I plan on that. We'll also talk about some snowfall estimates that we have uh, in our forecast here. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. Our high yesterday was 36 degrees. The low was 25. The average high, 49 degrees. So we're still well below the average. Our average low, 32. Can you believe that we were 81 degrees on this day last year? That was a record high, by the way. The record low, 5. We had 3 tenths of an inch of snow yesterday. We're at 1.82 inches of precipitation for the month and a little over six and a quarter inches for the year so far. Sunrise is at 7.25 a.m. and sunset at 7.43 p.m. I want to take a quick look at this next storm system that's going to affect us here in Ohio. We have a low pressure system that will move up via Ohio and Tennessee valleys into southern Ohio. A coastal low will develop and take that energy out to sea with it along with a lot of the uh, moisture as well. So we're going to put this into motion here. Our low moves in by early Monday morning, and then on Monday morning into the early afternoon, the energy is transferred to the coast and taken out to sea. Areas in blue will be all snow. I still think there may be a little bit of some mixed precip along the Ohio River there. Temperatures will be real close. The models don't really want to agree with that so much, but I, I will leave it in there as a kind of a just-in-case type of thing, and then rain on south there out to the coast. So how much snow are we looking at getting? It's not really a lot to really call a snowstorm, if you will, but 
We're looking at one to locally three inches of snow for much of northeastern Ohio north of uh, Route 224. And I think that three inch will probably be up in the snow belt from maybe a little bit of lake enhancement. That would be about it. If you're south of 224, I think it's going to be two upwards of four inches. And as you get south of Canton, we'll say generally south of US 30, four to maybe six inches of snow. Now we still got some concerns with uh, where the energy transfer will happen, how soon it will happen, and how far uh, into Ohio this low could get. Track-wise, I think we're pretty good on that uh, with just a few minor differences. Overall, though, the energy transfer will probably be the bigger question. So you'll, wanna, you'll want to be sure to stay tuned to neoweather.com and our fan page on Facebook for all the latest uh, updates. We'll be updating our snowfall estimates all the way until the storm hits the area. All right, for the forecast for today, well, we don't have to worry about snow today. We'll have partly cloudy skies. I think a little bit more sun than clouds as well, but it'll still be cool. A high of only about 36 degrees with a light northwest wind. At 8 a.m., we'll be around 24 degrees, 31 by 11 a.m., or at 35 by 2 p.m., and 31 at 5 p.m. Overnight tonight, we drop into the lower 20s. Outside of town, you may actually hit 20 or maybe even into the teens. Winds will be out of the northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour with partly cloudy skies expected overnight tonight. For the next seven days, we'll have some sun early on Sunday, but clouds will increase through the day ahead of that next system. Our high will be about 33 degrees. Snow moves in Sunday night and into Monday morning. Snow a good bed on Monday, especially for that morning commute. You may want to already plan to add a little extra time to your Monday morning commute, especially if you're uh, south of, uh, we'll say, Akron more or less. The high on Monday, 36 degrees. That'll be a little bit later in the day after the snow has moved out. Any lingering moisture uh, will be enough to spark some uh, lake effect snow showers Monday night into Tuesday. That won't be any major consequence, I don't believe. It'll be a scattered event at best. 35 is your high on Tuesday. Wednesday, we have uh, mainly cloudy skies with some scattered snow about the area, some light lake effect snow. Much the same on Thursday. 35 is your high both days. For Friday, yeah, is that a 40 degree temperature in the forecast? Perhaps we may actually break 40 degrees on Friday with partly cloudy skies. But you'll want to stay tuned because the models in the long run have had a hard time determining what type of pattern it wants to set up and whether or not it wants to warm us up. So be sure to stay tuned to neoweather.com for the latest. When severe weather strikes, neoweather.com is there. Our severe weather awareness week is April 1st through the 7th and we will inform you and help you to prepare for severe weather. I'm forecaster Mark Spencer. Thank you for watching. Stay up to date with the latest weather at neoweather.com. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. neoweather.com, Ohio's home for weather.